everyone, what's going on? It's Andy Richard here, goop goop. Today we are going to do basic assets. And we'll do it on an empty land and a one by one. So we're going to jump into this video and just do a quick tutorial on how to add assets to the game, how to move them around, how to snap things, some of the keyboard shortcuts for them. So we'll remove the blocks from my here. And now we can go into entities or equipment. We're just going to use entities. And we can search in here. The first thing that we're going to do is search for a pillar. And we can drag the stone pillar to our hot bar at the top. This here in the middle is where the avatar will start the game. So if we hit tab, this is where the avatar will come into. If there's no spawn points in the game, the avatar, when he dies, they'll come back to this point in the game. So, we're going to add a platform. We click from our hotbar here, and we can hold shift, and you can see that the item's snapping around, and that's snapping to the grid line of the voxels, or the blocks. So, we can click to place, and we can hold shift again, and you can see that they're snapping perfect. We can keep placing these here. And then on the left hand side we have our tools. So we have our move tool. Now if we move on the red line it will only move on the red axes. And you can see here it's only moving on the X axis. If we hold shift while we move you can notice that it snaps to 0.5 every time. So that will help to keep things symmetrical and looking in shape. And we can move up and down as well and we can move on the z-axis as well there so here you'll notice that there is a small cube when I go right into the center and if we click that and move we can freely move the item on all axes we just hit control Z to undo and the different squares that you can see here are snapping on two axes so this one would be the blue and the red which would be the z and the X. So we can hold shift while we use those tools as well to move the blocks around. In this case we're just going to build a small ramp, a uh, series of jumps sorry coming up. So this one can be quite low into the ground and then again and again and again. So we can lift these up if we wanted to as well. If we hold shift, we can click multiple assets and move them all at the same time. If we wanted this to continue and say we wanted the same again, we could press Ctrl D and that will duplicate everything that we've got. We can hold shift and it'll snap because everything's already snapped. And we can pull that up to there to continue this. If we hit tab, we can go into our game and just have a little bit of a test out jumping up all of the platforms. So say now we want to rotate some of them, we can click on the rotate tool that we've got here and the same applies if you click on the green line here it'll rotate just on the y axis, just on the z and just on the x. So just undo those. So you can see you can also see that the whole ball appears and if we click on that it'll rotate just freely on all axes. So if you hold shift and rotate on one it'll snap 45 degrees each time. If you have a look and if we just move it slightly so it's two degrees on the wire. If we now hold shift it'll add 45 degrees to that two degrees each time. So it's sometimes good to come in and make sure that that is zero there. You can type whatever you want in here if it's easier to move the asset around. So we can also click to select multiple assets and if we hold control shift we can deselect some that we don't want and like I said we can also hold shift to reselect the others and then we can switch over to the move tool halfway through and we can pull those across for example and we can hold control shift and pull those across and pull those across lastly. 
for now we've had a series of titles headed up and through. We can add more and more assets to here if we like. And the exact same applies to those here as well. And I think that's everything really for placing assets. The assets are quite simple and I'm going to go and break down all of the properties of all of the assets here. Um, one of the main things I'd say is that you have the eye at the top which is the visibility of the item. If you zoom in you'll see that when you switch it in game that will no longer be visible but the player will um, be blocked if they try and walk into it. And we do have the collision option there as well so we can choose if we did choose gravity on an asset when we did come into the game you'll see that that post fell to the floor so if things do have gravity then you will be able to move them around at the moment i think that's covered everything for the basic assets and i'll see you guys in the metaverse